A lab on a chip lock is a device that integrates one or several laboratory functions on a single integrated circuit commonly called a chip of only millimeters to a few square centimeters to achieve automation and high throughput screening. Locks can handle extremely small fluid volumes down to less than picoliters. Lab on a chip devices are a subset of microelectromechanical systems MEMS devices and sometimes called Micro total analysis systems. Micro TAS. Locks may use microfluidics, the physics, manipulation, and study of minute amounts of fluids. However, strictly regarded, lab on a chip indicates generally the scaling of single or multiple lab processes down to chip format, whereas, micro TAS is dedicated to the integration of the total sequence of lab processes to perform chemical analysis. The term, lab on a chip, was introduced when it turned out that micro-TAS technologies were applicable for more than only analysis purposes. History After the invention of microtechnology for realizing integrated semiconductor structures for microelectronic chips, these lithography-based technologies were soon applied in pressure sensor manufacturing as well. Due to further development of these usually CMOS compatibility limited processes, a toolbox became available to create micrometer or sub micrometer sized mechanical structures in silicon wafers as well. The micro electro mechanical systems MEMS era had started. Next to pressure sensors, airbag sensors, and other mechanically movable structures, fluid handling devices were developed. Examples are, channels, capillary connections, mixers, valves, pumps and dosing devices. The first lock analysis system was a gas chromatograph, developed in 1979 by S. C. Terry at Stanford University. However, only at the end of the 1980s and beginning of the 1990s did the lock research start to seriously grow as a few research groups in Europe developed micropumps, flow sensors and the concepts for integrated fluid treatments for analysis systems. These micro-TAS concepts demonstrated that integration of pre-treatment steps, usually done at lab scale, could extend the simple sensor functionality towards a complete laboratory analysis, including additional cleaning and separation steps. A big boost in research and commercial interest came in the mid-1990s, when micro-TAS technologies turned out to provide interesting tooling for genomics applications, like capillary electrophoresis and DNA microarrays. A big boost in research support also came from the military, especially from DARPA Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, for their interest in portable bio-chemical warfare agent detection systems. The added value was not only limited to integration of lab processes for analysis but also the characteristic possibilities of individual components and the application to other, non-analysis, lab processes. Hence the term lab on a chip was introduced although the application of locks is still novel and modest a growing interest of companies and applied research groups is observed in different fields such as analysis e.g. chemical analysis environmental monitoring medical diagnostics and cellomics but also in synthetic chemistry e.g. rapid screening and microreactors for pharmaceutics Besides further application developments, research in lock systems is expected to extend towards downscaling of fluid handling structures as well, by using nanotechnology. Sub-micrometer and nano-sized channels, DNA labyrinths, single-cell detection and analysis, and nano-sensors, might become feasible, allowing new ways of interaction with biological species and large molecules. Many books have been written that cover various aspects of these devices, including the fluid transport, system properties, sensing techniques, and bioanalytical applications. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chip materials and fabrication technologies. The basis for most lock fabrication processes is photolithography. 
Initially most processors were in silicon, as these well-developed technologies were directly derived from semiconductor fabrication. Because of demands for e.g. specific optical characteristics, bio- or chemical compatibility, lower production costs and faster prototyping, new processes have been developed such as glass, ceramics and metal etching, deposition and bonding, polydimethylsiloxane PDMS processing e.g., soft lithography, off-stoichiometry thiolene polymers Ostima processing, thick film and stereolithography as well as fast replication methods via electroplating, injection molding and embossing. The demand for cheap and easy lock prototyping resulted in a simple methodology for the fabrication of PDMS microfluidic devices, a SCARGO embedded scaffold removing open technology. This technique allows for the creation of microfluidic channels, in a single block of PDMS, via a dissolvable scaffold made by e.g. 3D printing. Furthermore, the lock field more and more exceeds the borders between lithography-based microsystem technology, nanotechnology and precision engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Advantages Locks may provide advantages, which are specific to their application. Typical advantages are Low fluid volumes consumption less waste, lower reagents costs and less required sample volumes for diagnostics Faster analysis and response times due to short diffusion distances, fast heating, high surface to volume ratios, small heat capacities Better process control because of a faster response of the system e.g. thermal control for exothermic chemical reactions Compactness of the systems due to integration of much functionality and small volumes Massive parallelization due to compactness, which allows high throughput analysis Lower fabrication costs, allowing cost-effective disposable chips, fabricated in mass production Part quality may be verified automatically Safer platform for chemical, radioactive or biological studies because of integration of functionality, smaller fluid volumes and stored energies. Topic. Disadvantages The most prominent disadvantages of labs on chip are the micro-manufacturing process required to make them is complex and labor-intensive, requiring both expensive equipment and specialized personnel. It can be overcome by the recent technology advancement on low-cost 3D printing and laser engraving. The complex fluidic actuation network requires multiple pumps and connectors, where fine control is difficult. It can be overcome by careful simulation, an intrinsic pump, such as airbag embed chip, or by using a centrifugal force to replace the pumping, i.e. centrifugal microfluidic biochip. Most locks are novel proof-of-concept application that are not yet fully developed for widespread use. More validations are needed before practical employment. In the microliter scale that locks deal with, surface-dependent effects like capillary forces, surface roughness or chemical interactions are more dominant. This can sometimes make replicating lab processes in locks quite challenging and more complex than in conventional lab equipment. Detection principles may not always scale down in a positive way, leading to low signal-to-noise ratios. Topic. Global health Lab-on-a-chip technology may soon become an important part of efforts to improve global health, particularly through the development of point-of-care testing devices. In countries with few healthcare resources, infectious diseases that would be treatable in a developed nation are often deadly. In some cases, poor healthcare clinics have the drugs to treat a certain illness but lack the diagnostic tools to identify patients who should receive the drugs. Many researchers believe that lock technology may be the key to powerful new diagnostic instruments. 
The goal of these researchers is to create microfluidic chips that will allow healthcare providers in poorly equipped clinics to perform diagnostic tests such as immunoassays and nucleic acid assays with no laboratory support. Topic: <laughs> Global challenges. For the chips to be used in areas with limited resources, many challenges must be overcome. In developed nations, the most highly valued traits for diagnostic tools include speed, sensitivity, and specificity, but in countries where the healthcare infrastructure is less well developed, attributes such as ease of use and shelf life must also be considered. The reagents that come with the chip, for example, must be designed so that they remain effective for months even if the chip is not kept in a climate-controlled environment. Chip designers must also keep cost, scalability, and recyclability in mind as they choose what materials and fabrication techniques to use. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples of global lock application. One of the most prominent and well-known lock devices to reach the market is the at-home pregnancy test kit, a device that utilizes paper-based microfluidics technology. Another active area of lock research involves ways to diagnose and manage HIV infections. Around 36.9 million people are infected with HIV in the world today and 59% of these people receive antiretroviral treatment. Only 75% of people living with HIV knew their HIV status. Measuring the number of CD4 plus T lymphocytes in a person's blood is an accurate way to determine if a person has HIV and to track the progress of an HIV infection. At the moment, flow cytometry is the gold standard for obtaining CD4 counts, but flow cytometry is a complicated technique that is not available in most developing areas because it requires trained technicians and expensive equipment. Recently such a cytometer was developed for just $5. Another active area of lock research is for controlled separation and mixing. In such devices it is possible to quickly diagnose and potentially treat diseases. As mentioned above, a big motivation for development of these is that they can potentially be manufactured at very low cost. <laughs> Plant sciences Lab on a chip devices could be used to characterize pollen tube guidance in Arabidopsis thalarana. Specifically, plant on a chip is a miniaturized device in which pollen tissues and ovules could be incubated for plant sciences studies. Topic: See also Biochemical assays Dielectrophoresis – detection of cancer cells and bacteria. Immunoassay – detect bacteria, viruses and cancers based on antigen-antibody reactions. Ion channel screening – patch clamp. Microfluidics Organ on a chip Real-time PCR – detection of bacteria, viruses and cancers. Testing the safety and efficacy of new drugs, as with lung on a chip Total analysis system